Hey everyone, if you needed to know how to fit this into this, today's video is for you. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, so I've been flying a Mavic 2 for about six months now. This is the remote for it, and I really, really like it. I've been using an iPhone XS Max ever since the beginning of my flying there, but recently, about a week ago, I upgraded to the iPhone 13 XS Max. I just love the big screen, and whether that's for you or not, I'm going to show you guys today a few different things that I did to make it fit into the remote with the case. Here's the iPhone 13 XS Max in the Mavic 2 controller. It's also the same as the Mavic Mini controller in terms of the size and everything. Uh, the Mavic Mini controller obviously doesn't have the screen and some of the buttons, but the phone holder is the same. And so this is the phone in the remote with the modified wire. It's been shaved down with a knife, a kitchen knife. I don't recommend doing that. I really, really wanted to fly this drone with the new phone because it's something like 1200 or 1400 nits, which is 20 to 30% brighter than the phone that I was using previously. And I really just wanted to get in the air, try it out. And I didn't want to find an Amazon locker in the town that I was traveling through and wait for the wire. So this is what I came up with and it does work. Next, I'm going to show you some other options. So option one, as I discussed earlier, was using a kitchen knife to cut that wire. And this method works, but it's just not super recommended because it's easy to make a mistake. And I don't really feel like I can count on it, but I throw it in the controller, I fire it up, and here it is working. The second option was uh, trying the factory replacement wire. Um, this isn't from DJI, but it's an extra wire that I had bought in the past as a backup, and it did not work. It's a similar size to the factory wire before I cut it. The third option that I tried was using a long iPad wire, and this worked really well uh, with the exception of having to wrap the wire around the back of the phone. And you'll see here that um, that does work and the phone connected to the drone and everything was fine. The bad thing about this, I thought, was that there's a potential for the phone to wiggle out of the holder. And it's not super clear to see here, but I do try to wiggle it around and it just kind of pops right out, which may not be an issue for you, um, but for me, it's definitely something that I think about because I typically hang a lanyard around my neck uh, when I'm flying the drone. The fourth option, this is only gonna work on the Mavic 2 because the Mavic Mini controller doesn't have the USB plug on the bottom, but this was my favorite option because I don't like adding wear and tear to the charging port on the controller and this lets us wear and tear a separate port altogether which I thought was really great. So this is the option I ultimately went with. So another option that I tried was buying a tablet holder uh, for the phone and I got one that you could spin 90 degrees so it can hold a tablet or a phone and I used the USB wire to do that. Also the extension wire, the iPad wire that I used in another step would work fine. Um, I've never used one of these before. I like this. Uh, the only thing I didn't love is that it's in one extra step to set everything up before I start flying every day. And so if I do keep it, um, it's not going to be for every day. So another option was just taking off the case with the factory wire and that would work for you. So let's review the wires that I used. Uh, the first wire was cutting the factory wire. Number two was using the factory replacement wire, uh, but that didn't work. Number three was using the long wire for the iPad. And the fourth wire I used was the USB to lightning connector. Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, if you liked what we covered in the video, make sure that you take a look in the description below for links to some of the wires that we tried and some of the different options. As always, we have our weekly surprise Amazon item listed down below in the description. Also, please like and subscribe if you got anything from this video. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. See you next week.